go away for a jog, and we'll hit some of the iconic spots in downtown San Diego. Ruth Chris's Steakhouse. If you want to waste some money on overpriced steak, waste some money, waste some money, waste some money. This is irony because we've actually ended up at a Ruth Chris's Steakhouse. This is not of my doing. My parents invited us out for dinner and apparently they wanted to go to Ruth Chris's. So I'm going to do what Juan Nunez said and order the aged beef broiled at 1800 degrees. And I'm gonna ask if I can record them grilling it or broiling it or whatever, if I can get into the kitchen. Who's that? Who's that right there? I know that kid. Hello. This is why they don't like kids at Ruth Chris's. Oh gosh. That is a very respectable scotch selection up there. So watch out for the plates, they're 500 degrees, okay? The, big, the most flavored steak here is the ribeye. Then it goes New York strip and then it goes filet mignon. Best steak here, hands down, cowboy ribeye. That's my steak. I get it with a char, medium rare, or medium, however you like it. If I was gonna do it without butter, cowboy I would definitely stay with a strip the or ribeye. Tell me if you notice anything special about the bread. You take a bite. No. Sourdough? Taste this. <gasps> it smells so good. Is it the best bread you've ever tasted? <laughs> that wasn't all for you, by the way. Nothing especially special about the bathroom. Clean. Smells good. Nothing special. This is Chef Oh no, here. Chef? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So where, where's the broiler? Here. Okay. This is the 1800 degree broiler. Oh my oh. goodness. Up on my car. That is so cool. The plates are 500 degrees in there. That's the 1800 degree broiler. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much, Chef. Thank you. So cool. So cool. This way. That's so cool. Yeah, that's an impressive machine. Amazing. In the state of California, you are required by law to identify the caloric value of the meal. As if anybody wants to know how many calories and what they're eating, I do, by the way. The cowboy ribeye has 1,690 calories. I went for a seven kilometer run this morning, so I get to eat it. But it's one of those California laws that you have to list the caloric value of the items. I think it's great. People should know what they're eating. A lot of people apparently don't appreciate it having been rubbed in the faces. Yes, sir. Is this a member of the family that you talk to wherever we go? Children, do you want to answer that question? Are you living a life or yes. living a <laughs> Okay, we've got a problem here. Houston, we got a problem. <laughs> Maybe the camera's name is going to be Houston. Ethan, use your indoor screen, please. That's safe shop set. What is on it? Whoa. <laughs> it's got those. This plate's really hot, okay? okay. Houston, are you rolling? <laughs> Don't touch it. I know, you, I know it's like with kids, you have this. That's hot. Everywhere. You gotta stick, you gotta stick. Your mom, you got one? I'm tasting the steak. I'm tasting the steak. Look at that. Look at that. So this is coming on a 500 degree plate. Houston, I love you. His name is Houston. Because he said Houston, we have a problem. Now that, that's the name of the camera. Oh no. Houston, do you want to try? Is that the best thing you've ever tasted in your life? <laughs> it's amazing! Is that the best thing you've ever tasted? So everybody's good right now. <laughs> it's a little bit mar more marbly. 
Knife drop. I just ate the best piece of steak ever. Can I get him another piece? Absolutely. Ethan, what are you doing to that bone? That's my grandson. Is it good? Okay, you want to go outside? Okay, he wants to go outside. <laughs> that was the best steak I've ever had. It's a delicious dinner. The people are looking at us like we're crazy. Okay. Oh, I got another kid right there. Booyah, Kasha. I got you. Okay, go outside. Everyone's going outside. There's a lineup to get in now. Look at this. Ruth Chris's is killing it. You guys want to go out for dinner again? Wrong, it's not happening. Don't. <laughs> are you going to do a piece out on the camera? Peace out. He's going to knock the camera over. Watch this. Bear. Now we are going to a place called the Creamistry. This place now makes freshly made ice cream with, with liquid, liquid nitrogen. Hydrogen. Liquid nitrogen. Liquid hydrogen. nitrogen. Go, go in, guys, people. Go. Creamistry. Like chemistry with cream. This is like entering the matrix, people. Look at the machines. Look at the machines. What are the kind of stuff you want? I'm going to document how they make this ice cream. You order me something without bananas. What do you want? What do you want? You got you gotta order what you want. I want chocolate ice cream. Okay. I'm getting caramel. She wants chocolate chocolate ice cream and caramel. That big canister is liquid nitrogen behind. There's a tube that goes under the ground into two of the machines or all four of the machines. And then it comes up through the tube and blasts into the liquid cream, which you're gonna put in it. And then freezes it instantaneously. Then you re-chop it up to break it into small we pieces. Put in, we, we put in uh, hot water. Put in hot water. And melt a little bit. They put in hot water so it melts a little bit. And then we mix it again. And they mix it again. And it's the best ice cream. Wait until you taste this. Wait until you taste this. Pops, you've tasted this before, right? Pops doesn't like talking to Houston yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Houston, we're in trouble. And then chocolate sauce. The pumpkin spice. Okay. Don't. Oh, God. What do you say? Pumpkin spice? Unbelievable. Right. Now the liquid nitrogen is is freezing. It's freezing. Oh my god! It's not oxygen. It kills you. Oh god! Someone help me! Okay, now look. Now look. They go round two. It's not like chocolate. No. It does smell kind of like chocolate, but mostly it smells like a, a fridge. Put your hands up here. Feel how cold that is. Instantly frozen there. Now they take out the bowl. They put it in there to break it up into smaller pieces. Oh, that's me. Okay. Okay, we're coming. Is that yours? This video is over. <laughs> David has goosebumps, is what David has. Vanilla? How do you describe the way this tastes compared to regular ice cream? Creamier. It's seriously serious. Ten times creamier than normal ice cream. Uh, we're having a meltdown right there. That is good. It's not what I was expecting at all. I thought it would be more frozen. Chunky and grainy yeah, and grainy. It's totally smooth. You huge, Her mother, I believe your ice cream is here. Oh. Yeah, let her take that first. No, no, it's okay. Daddy, I gave all of some of my ice cream. I can't let this. Do I need ice cream? Oh, hey. 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 Hey.